Let's do a simple drawing for Pongal. First, let's draw the pot. So you can use an object that has a circular shape to trace the shape of the pot. You can either just use a pencil or you can straight away use a black marker to tr trace the shape of the pot. As you can see that I have already used a pencil to trace the pot. So this technique might be easier and if you're not very confident in using a marker straight away, please go ahead and use a pencil to trace first and then use a black marker to follow the tracing of your pencil. And now it's the exciting part, which is designing the pot. This is pretty fun to do. You can either follow the patterns that I have drawn in this video or you can engage with your children to come up with the designs. Don't be afraid to go wild if you are the adventurous sort. If you feel like you want to do very simple designs, please go by all means go ahead and do them. Kids have really good imagination so if you can engage with them while designing the pot. Now we are drawing the part where the milk overflows. Pretty easy design to do. You just have to do half circle around the pot. Now we're going to do the sun. So here I use a tape, which is circular. So you can use any circle. Make sure that it is a small circle because the sun shouldn't be bigger than the pot. Then you can either use a marker to trace over the object or you can use a pencil first, then a marker. So over here, if you notice, I'm turning the paper around, so please feel free to move the paper. It doesn't have to be where the paper has to be, you know, um, always at a certain angle. And there, this is the sun. Now we're going to draw the sugar cane. So I'm drawing the stem first, so you notice it's not a straight stem, it's curved. It is bigger at the bottom and then I am going to draw the leaves so think of it as a half moon you're drawing a half moon and then you are stacking the leaves one on top of the other Now we're going to do the other side, same thing, you draw the stem first and the curved 
manner where the bottom is bigger than the top and then you draw the leaves in a half circular manner So here I am imitating the stem of the sugar cane. So usually you will notice there's a circular um, mark around the stem. So I'm doing exactly the same thing over here. And finally, we're drawing the field. So it's a very simple one that I have done. Please go ahead and draw a more elaborated one if you feel so. And this is how we do a simple drawing for Pongal. My son said that I should add fire to the picture. So this is the final design. I hope you find this video useful. And here's me wishing you happy Pongal to you and your family. Happy Pongal!